meteorologist Steve Lavoie. I apologize for uh, the technical difficulties. Uh, we're going to try this again. Um, so thank you again for your patience and for joining us uh, for the latest winter weather briefing. Uh, what we know right now is that we have a significant winter storm for the upcoming week weekend for portions of the Midlands. Uh, winter weather headlines are up for the northern and central Midlands. Uh, what we do know is that the predominant precipitation type is going to likely be freezing rain in our northern counties and a cold rain in the southern Midlands and CSRA. Along with the precipitation threat, there are going to be some occasionally gusty winds and that's going to be throughout the forecast area. The uh, timing, the greatest impact looks to be late Saturday night into early Sunday afternoon. That's going to be the time of the greatest impact when we're expecting the freezing rain to be at its greatest extent. Um, in terms of overall impacts, we're looking mainly north and north of Interstate 20. And then region-wide afterwards, it is going to be a cold night following the storm. And we are going to see the potential for some black ice late Sunday night into Monday morning. A couple of uncertainties right now. There are some differences in our weather guidance regarding how strong the cold air will be at the surface. And depending on the strength of the cold air will, be, will determine how quickly that freezing rain is going to change over to rain in your location if freezing rain is in the forecast. Uh, in addition to that, the strength of the surface cold air and how strong the precipitation is falling will determine how much ice accumulation occurs in a given location as well. Uh, it's important to note that additional winter weather headlines may be needed in future forecasts, so definitely continue to follow us with the latest updates. These are uh, hot off the presses. We now have an ice storm warning in effect for five counties in the northern Midlands. That's Chesterfield, Fairfield, Kershaw, Lancaster, and Newberry. And in addition, we now have a winter storm watch in effect for Lee, Lexington, Saluda, Sumter, and Richland counties. And so you can see the uh, counties in purple are the ice storm warning and the ones shown in blue are the winter storm watch. This is our current forecast thinking for ice accumulation. So areas that are currently in the red shading, uh, they are the ones we're expecting to see the greatest amount of ice accumulation. Uh, that's why we have put out the ice storm warning. There's the potential there for a quarter to a half inch of ice. Areas in the orange shading, which includes a lot of the uh, newly updated winter storm watch, uh, could see between a tenth and a quarter of an inch ice. And then areas in the yellow could see anywhere between a hundredth and a tenth of an inch of ice. This is a winter storm threat level. So areas that are shown red on this map, uh, we are seeing the potential for freezing rain accumulations that could result in numerous power outages on Sunday and make travel nearly impossible. Uh, areas in the orange shading, that's where freezing rain accumulations could result in some power outages and create areas of dangerous travel conditions. And even those that aren't in a headline right now, we could see some limited threats in the areas shown in yellow. And that even goes all the way down to places such as Augusta, Aiken, Orangeburg, and Manning. In these areas, a light glaze of ice earlier in the day could cause some potentially hazardous travel conditions, uh, particularly on your bridges and overpasses and the untreated uh, or secondary roads as well. So freezing rain, as we mentioned, is going to be the predominant precipitation type for anyone under a winter storm headline right now. And a freezing rain effectively is rain that is going to freeze on contact with the ground. What we're going to see is uh, just above the surface, we're going to have air that's above freezing. So any frozen precipitation will be allowed to melt into rain. And then as that rain enters a very shallow area of that sub-freezing air, we're going to see that ice start to accrete on the ground. And even a small amount of ice can cause some significant problems, especially on the roads. Um, ice accumulation, as you can see on our infographic, uh, does increase the weight of power lines by up to 500 pounds. Uh, patches of ice on the roads, again, make travel extremely dangerous. And ice accumulation does increase the weight of a tree branch by as much as 30 times. So 
just a little bit of ice can cause a lot of problems for folks. And keep in mind that we're also expecting the potential for some gusty winds as well. So if we start to get some accretion that could blow around and cause down tree limbs and down power lines as well. So it's definitely a concern. Again, the primary time is going to be Sunday morning when all this is going to start unfolding. And again, freezing rain, unfortunately, is even worse than snow in many ways, uh, because again, the ice can form on the pavement. Well, again, we've got to watch out for those falling branches and power lines. And if you must travel during the event, use extreme caution um, on the roads during these conditions. Uh, we have already seen some great work by our partners um, to help you get ahead of the storm pre-treating the roads. Um, but again, the best thing to do if you can is stay at home during the event. Uh, again, with the potential of some power outages, you, you know, it is a very cold type of situation. If the power does go out, here's a couple of tips when you're at home uh, just to keep yourself warm. Uh, you know, as it says, you want to close off rooms to avoid wasting heat, close those blinds. You want to try to keep as much heat in as possible. And of course, oh, as always during these types of cold and wintry type of precipitations, don't forget your pets. So definitely bring them in when the cold weather comes, keep them inside safe, warm and dry with, warm and dry with you. With, with you. And um, again, something if you have portable generators, keep in mind you want to use those generators outdoors, at least 20 feet away from your home or windows and garages. And you want to be careful with any, any sort of heating apparatus. You want to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. That is a, definitely a concern with these type of ice events and power outages. And even if you don't have that, maybe a candle or something or a space heaters, electric blankets, always make sure to be very careful with those heat sources. And after the storm, make sure your neighbors are okay as well. Um, this is going to be a big event for you. And uh, here's a couple of quick pointers here again. If you have to drive, we want to check on road conditions. Have a kit ready to go uh, in your vehicle. Uh, have your vehicle ready to go. And make sure you check the weather as well before heading out. And just a couple of pointers here. Again, for Sunday night into Monday morning, we want to keep an eye on black ice which again can form on any road or surface and it is more prevalent at night but again there could be some slick roads on monday morning as well and we definitely want to use caution driving um, after a, the rainy event